Understanding Faith-Based, Exploring Its Meaning and Use. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to unpack a term that you may have come across in news, conversations, or readings. The term is faith-based. What does it mean? How is it used? Why is it important to understand? Stay with us as we explore this term in detail, and by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what faith-based means but also how to use it in a sentence. When we say something is faith-based, we are referring to activities, organizations, or programs that are rooted in or related to religious beliefs. The word faith here signifies a system of religious beliefs like Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, or any other religion. Therefore, a faith-based organization is one that aligns itself with certain religious principles and often aims to put those principles into action. Let's look at some examples to understand better how faith-based is used in everyday language. A faith-based charity is a charity that operates on religious principles. Faith-based initiatives are often programs created by governments or private groups to address social issues like poverty or health care, drawing on religious values for guidance and inspiration. When someone refers to faith-based education, they are talking about schooling that includes religious teachings or is run by a religious organization. Understanding these examples can help clarify the scope and implications of the term faith-based. The significance of faith-based comes from its impact on society. Faith-based groups can be powerful agents of change. They provide a wide range of services and support to communities, often filling gaps that other organizations don't cover. By understanding the term, we can better comprehend the role such groups play in various aspects of social life and public policy. I hope this explanation sheds some light on the meaning of faith-based and its relevance in different contexts. Whether you encounter this term in the news or in your studies, you're now equipped with a better understanding to interpret its use. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language learning content. See you in the next video.